Uh, legal reasons, we were getting sued. Um, no, that's a lie. Um, it was, we, we, changed, we changed the name just because we changed as people, I guess. There's, there's the kind of the quick and simple answer. Um, yeah, we all just, just evolved as artists and the music changed and we changed and everything around us changed and it just felt like a different kind of universe for us. So we just rocked with uh, Push Baby. I have zero idea where Push Baby came from. Uh, it wasn't a conscious thing of like, we should be called this. Like previously with band names, we'd like write stuff down and try and like make it look symmetrical and phonetically sound nice. And Push Baby just kind of, it just kind of came from my personality, I think. I don't know. I think they can just expect transparency and honesty. I think last time, you know, it was all like, I, there would have been, I would have been here with like three makeup artists and people telling me what to say. And now it's just me on my own and my lovely manager, Ava, and we're just kind of telling the truth, really. I've got my gum in my mouth. So I'm just going to hold that there. Uh, so the running jump um, was uh, an art piece and uh, a stunt where I set myself on fire and I jumped off a 10 metre diving board. You guys don't do metres here, do you? So it was 30 feet, is that right? What's the, what's the, it just, yeah. Uh, so it was high, basically. And there was, yeah, it, it was just, um, it was kind of just to symbolise change and I jumped in front of a huge, projector with kind of imagery on um, and it was me. It, we did it in three goes and uh, I had a stunt coordinator. It was just to announce the name change, yeah. Uh, and you set yourself on I fire. set myself on fire to announce the new name of Push Baby because I just thought people deserved more than, no not them, I, I deserved more than just putting a tweet out or like a handwritten letter to be like we changed the name, head over to Facebook to see why. Um, I just wanted to just take my label's money and um, do something with it. So I set myself on fire. So the, yeah, the new, the new album uh, is done. It's, we, we wrote and produced it even before we signed the new deal. I, I just wanted to, to, to go to Scooter and our label with just like a finished body of work and just be like, here it is, you don't have to do anything. Let us just, you know. Uh, so it's all self-produced um, by Danny and the band. It's all written by us. I, honestly, I'm like, I'm just incredibly proud of it. it it's, uh, it's very rare that you kind of get full creative control, and we, we have, and we're just taking it and running with it and setting ourselves on fire. So it's, uh, it sounds, it sounds, oh, it sounds horrendous, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a great album. I'm really proud of it. Really, really proud of it. Mama's House is about uh, a time where, off the back end of, of, of our previous band, you know, we had a bit of commercial success and then I went home and everyone just thought I just had money and um, cars and women. And I and I'd just, I'd, I, I had cars. Uh, no, I had uh, I had nothing. I had nothing. I moved back in with my mum, um, and I'm, I'm still living there now. Like I'm, I base Push Baby on transparency and authenticity, and like I'd be lying if I was sat here pretending to be someone I'm not with this big gold chain. I, in a year, I'll have a massive gold chain, and, like shaved, and like don't talk to me. But now, um, I'm just you know, I'm still living at home with my mum, um, and that's kind of what the song's about. It was about kind of the battle between um, self worth and ego and. But I mean, that's thinking too deep. It's just a pop song. It's just a boring pop song. Have a listen. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.